So it's been a dream of mine to see one for a very long time. So fingers crossed, we're gonna have a successful day. Chilling. Chilling. Oh my god. <laughs> we're awake. We're here. Oh, sleepy. We are in the northwest side of Boswanga. We're gonna catch a boat to an island. We're catching a boat to an island called Kaluit. We're gonna do something very, very special today, which we're gonna inform you a little bit later. But first thing first, we gotta load all the gear onto the boat. And the place we're going to now, if you look on maps, it looks like it's connected between each other, but there is actually a channel between them. So we have to take a boat. This is Kaluit Island over there. Onto the boat. We're going for registration. It's to the other side, so we just go around by this island. Okay. We can take it about 45 minutes to one hour. Beautiful, perfect condition today. Blue skies, a little bit clouds. But first we have a 45 minute boat ride to the northeast part of Kaluid Island where we have to dock and register for the activities today. Now as you can see, we have perfect condition today because there's a southeastern winds coming up to the northern Palawan, making the island block all the wind, and that's why the ocean is so calm. Now I must say, I've been to over 100 islands, and this has to be one of the best open sea rides I've ever done. It's so flat. There's a little bit of waves, but the ride is so smooth. So we got a little dude, little baby on the boat as well with us today and here's a funny fact about Icelanders. A lot of us, we learn how to swim before we learn how to walk. So the parents, when we're just recently born, they throw us into a swimming pool. They throw the babies into the pool. <coughs> Excuse me. They throw the babies into the pool and it's an automatic movement that the human body does. We automatically start swimming. So we learn how to hold our breath and do a little bit of swimming before we start walking, us Icelanders. And the water here is absolutely 100% crystal clear. Look at this. And we already spotted turtles picking up for air and as well some schools of fishes. When I came to the Philippines I researched about all the animals in the country and I had three that are on my bucket list. The whale shark, the Filipino eco and the dugongs. And today we're gonna try to chase that one of my bucket list which is the dugongs. A super rare animal in the whole world, not just the Philippines. It's so rare this animal that is no longer endangered, it's put to a vulnerable to extinction. So uh, it's, it's really super rare to find that, but we're gonna do that today. And we're joined by pro experts called Sea Zoned here in Coron Town. They're the only ones that are doing the uh, free diving version because before you're only allowed to do the uh, scuba diving. So now they have the free diving and this company is the only one that does it. So uh, Lua here on my uh, right. Hello. <laughs> He's with uh, Season. I'll link it down below. And uh, he has to go on board to Kaluit Barangay and register all of us. All right, so Lua just picked up the permit. The engine is back on. And off we go to the Dugong Cove. Good morning again. Good morning. By the way, my name is Alvin, one of our uh, Dugong guards here. Later, before uh, activity, we have a uh, small uh, short briefing. Alright, we just made it to the dive site. And you can see there's a couple of boats here. And it's a uh, first comes, first serve. But, there's only 15 minutes allowed to be diving here. So each boat, each group, only has that time to see the dugongs. So they're very, uh, very conservative here about the protection of the dugongs. It is one of the most rare animals in the world, like I said before. In this area, 
there's known six baby dugongs and 24 adults. So only 30 dugongs. And this most populated dugong area in the Philippines. So with that said, I think there's maybe, you know, 100 dugongs in the whole country. So it, it's such a rare animal. It's, it's really crazy. It's a massive animal, 2.5 meter length, 800 pounds, and eats up to 25 kilograms of seaweed each day. And they eat so much of it because there's uh, very little nutrition in the seagrass, so they have to eat a lot. So it's been a dream of mine to see one for a very long time. So fingers crossed, we're gonna have a successful day. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so we, we are here in Aban Aban, right? Yeah, and then yeah. the dugong name Aban. Aban. Yeah, they call it Aban. Oh, apparently there's just one friendly dugong, so hopefully we can see here. Yeah. All right, let's gear up. <laughs> We're gearing up with butas in the background. Alright, we got the pins ready, we got the goggles, masks and everything. We're bringing out the GoPro. When I think about yesterday My oh my My oh my and so I did So this is the one he ate. How many kilos? 35 kilos. Imagine that guys. The dugong is 25 kilos of this tiny grass. Can I eat it? It's okay? Sure. I'm gonna eating it. There's no there's no test. There's no test to ya. We need uh, more vinegar and salt. There's no taste, come on. <laughs>
Yeah, the price, it's so many jellyfish here, but the price is to see the dugong. I don't mind the itchy, as long as I see the dugong. <laughs> it's so many jellyfish. Look at the calmness of the ocean here. Yeah. It's so flat, there's no wind, there's not even a breeze. <laughs> Alright, we go back to the boat now. I just woke up from a small nap and come to this beautiful classic Palawan look type of rock formation here. And look at there, there's a white sand bed. Oh nice, a small beach. A picture there? There. I think you're never gonna post that picture. Promise. You promise you'll post that picture? <laughs> Have you ever seen bright as that no, before? I even want to go there! Yeah, it's a gold. It's a gold there. Okay, I made it back to the hotel, shower is done, and after we finish free diving, I always gotta unpack everything, wash off the uh, salt water, what Sherlyn is doing. And before the video ends, we wanna give a big shout out to Seasone for hosting us today, showing us around and do the free dive among the dugongs. I'll leave them linked down below in the description if you wanna do the same activity here in Buswanga. And also, a lot of you guys have been signing up for the membership for the channel. That is just the option that YouTube gave to me. Get some additional uh, support from you guys because a lot of you have asked about that before and now we're finally able to open that up. But don't worry, you don't have to sign up. There's no requirement and you won't be missing out on all the uh, vlogs that I put out on the channel like I've been doing for the past two years. All the good stuff is gonna be on the same channel, but uh, if you wanna support us, that is another way. We highly do appreciate it. In the end, we always need to do something more and improve more. For example, now we have to buy a new drone and I made a huge investment also with new cameras. And as well, we're uh, looking at buying underwater gear, which is even more costly than <laughs> the camera. <laughs> So we're saving up and hopefully you guys can support us in that way. If not, that's totally fine. Just keep supporting us by watching. That's enough for us, of course. So how was the Dugong experience? Huh? I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a dream come true for us. Like that was the best animal experience that I, I think I've ever had in my life. It is really tough to do the free diving and Go back uh, and up, up and down and filming, and staying at the bottom. Tomorrow, we're going to one of the most expensive islands for sale in the Philippines. So it's gonna be a very unique vlog tomorrow or the next day, whenever it's gonna be released because we're, it's really <laughs> long days we've been having and a lot of uh, activities on our body. So we'll have, see how quickly we're able to uh, edit these videos and push them out while we're doing all the activities. So thank you guys so much for watching. All the uh, fanatics, the membership, you guys know who you are. Supporting us in some way or another. We appreciate all of you and until next time. Thank you. Peace out.